Well, hello there. Welcome in to yet another video. Today, we're going to be trying a slightly different format than I usually do. Um, here lately, I've been trying to learn game development. And one thing I've noticed is I really hate editing in tutorial videos. Okay, yes, I like a quick video, but also I feel like I miss a lot when there's a lot of jump cuts and stuff. So for today's tutorial, we're going to try to do this with no editing. And so I'm going to, it might be a longer video, but I'm going to work through all of my process completely from scratch. In fact, I have not even pre-designed this. I am gonna do this overlay completely from scratch and I'll show you the way that I would recommend you do this if you don't have a lot of design background. So do me a favor, uh, as you get further in the video, let me know if you prefer this format or maybe the faster paced, you know, cut format. Uh, anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into Canva. Okay, I lied, there's gonna be one edit, but this one's for a good reason. Reach Conference 2025 is coming up. It's where gamers and cosplayers and streamers all come together for three days of epic fun, community, and the skills you need to level up your passion. So whether you're chasing your next big cosplay, building your stream, or just love gaming, Reach Conference in Orlando, Florida is the place to be. It's happening on November 6th through the 8th. You can get your tickets at the link in the description of this video. Make sure you use code HILLS to save on that ticket. Anyway. Hope to see you there. All right, so to start off with, we're gonna obviously be at canva.com. Let me shrink my window down so that you're not missing anything with my webcam being there. Um, just like that, perfect. Um, and so with this, I don't know for sure if you'll need a Canva Pro subscription, but if you don't already have one and you get to a spot where you need one, uh, go down to the description, you'll find my Canva Pro free trial, it gets you 30 days for free. Uh, should be plenty of time to make anything that you wanna make. So now that I'm on Canva, I'm actually gonna make sure that templates is selected and I'm just gonna do Twitch, um, not overlay. I, I wanna do like a starting soon screen or or something of that sort because i just want to find a style that i like you see how some of these are kind of like animated and again this is completely from scratch so i'm just going to look around and and see if i can find something i kind of want to work with and a style that i want to keep and implement like over and over i kind of like this one and i don't normally do this style so i'm leaning toward that but let's scroll for just a minute and see what else we can see um, we could also do like Twitch be right back or, you know, gaming website, just different things like that. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with this one back here with this, this like little Corgi, because I think it's cute and I don't do a lot of designs with this style. Uh, so let's see what we can build using just this template. Okay. And of course, once we click on it, there's going to be a lot of suggestions down here for similar or, you know, more like this, but I like this one. Let's go with this. All right, let's go to customize this template. And now it is going to open it up here. And now I have all of the pieces that I need. So the very first thing uh, that I wanna do as soon as my page loads in. Okay, so I'm actually gonna change a couple of things. So it is a video file um, and it is open as a video project. And if there's a way to change this, I don't know how to do it. Um, and so, but yeah, so if I click it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna select everything here and I'm gonna control C to just copy everything. And then I want to go back here to Canva Home where I would just open a new tab. I'm just gonna go to create. I'm gonna create a new document um, at 1920 by 1080 because that's the size I stream at. Um, I just don't want it to be a video file. Videos file if I is great if that's what I was trying to do, but that is not our goal. Our goal is to have sort of somewhat of a static um, overlay. And so I've already copied everything. So I'm gonna control V to paste it all back in here. There we go. Okay, there are all my elements. Clearly my background is not the right color, so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna get this background color. Clicking right here, click right here and copy that hex code and then I can just click right back, select my background, select this, click right here and paste it in my hex code. Okay, so there we go. And that was the first step. Now we have it opened up and we are just kind of working in a static image. Of course, we can always go back sort of how they've animated these. We could go back and animate them as well once we're ready for that step. Uh, it looks like actually it copied the animation as well. So we're, we're solid. We could always go in and change out any kind of brand colors we want. Like if we want to shuffle in our own brand colors, we could easily do that if we have our brand kit set up. Um, and actually, I 
I kind of like it with the Dr. Hills brand colors. Uh, we'll go with it with, with this. Um, if you don't already have a brand kit set up, I think I have a video on that, but if I don't, leave a comment down below um, and just let me know that you'd like a video and I'll show how to set up a full brand kit, okay? So the first thing I wanna do here is I wanna create a full screen overlay. And so this is like where my camera is gonna be front and center. So I'm just gonna make a copy of everything. That way I have all my elements here before I start deleting things. Um, Cause to start with, I'm gonna delete these. I don't. I don't need these. Just delete all that out. I want to keep him. I want to keep all the elements, but I'm definitely going to move them around. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a webcam box, right? And of course, the size that I build my webcam and stuff is completely up to me. But I want my webcam to be something like this, because ultimately, during the full screen scene, my webcam is the most important part, right? So for now, I'm just going to create my box and I'm going to um, align it. So right here under position, middle, center, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to go back under position. I'm going to click layers because I want to grab this and I want to put it kind of back behind everything. but in front of this purple line here, right? Okay, so now that I have it here, I actually think I, I wanna change it just a little bit in what I'm doing. I wanna, I think I wanna put a frame there so I can put an image in there, but later we will replace it with just a green square. So let's go under frames. And so these are our frames. And the cool thing about frame is I can put an image in it, which is what I'm gonna do so that I can um, see, make sure everything is lined up, but like my person who's in the middle, you know, where, where I am in the camera will be visible, even though there's some stuff cluttered around the edges, right? So I'm just going to go there. I can go to uploads and upload one of my own images. If I have a good, just webcam image, I should have a couple in here. Always good to keep a couple in here, but also, um, use this for thumbnails a lot. But as you can see, I do a lot of work in Canva. So I've uploaded a lot of pictures. Come on. You know what? I don't know if I'm actually going to find one where I'm centered. Well, that'll work. We'll do that. Just drag and drop it in. And now same thing, I'm going to go to position and I'm going to put it back here just above the blue. Uh, okay, so now that it really helps me line everything up because I can see kind of where a lot of the stuff is, it's blocking me, especially uh, this little guy. So what I want to do first is shrink him down. I want him in the image because he's going to be very important for this branding. So I'm just going to kind of pull these other elements like somewhere that makes sense, but I still want to have him kind of over here, you know? I think that looks really good. I like this cloud. I want to kind of center it here. And let's bring this one. Uh, I like it on the purple because you can see it a lot better. We'll put move this star like here. And maybe we'll actually copy the star, holding down Alt, and make this one a little smaller. Something like that, you know? I think this lightning bolt's going to get into my head just a little bit, so I like the lightning bolt, but let's kind of put it on that side. Something kind of like that, I feel like looks pretty good. And we could easily see how I'm gonna put my webcam in there. But then the, the cool thing is we already have all of this set up. So we could always like export this. So let's see, um, I wanna, now I'm gonna delete my image out now that I've kind of shaped everything around me. Uh, and I'm gonna delete the frame. Now I wanna make this a bright, 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 bright green until it like hurts your eyeballs. That's how bright we want it. So I'm gonna click right here with the green kind of selected, I'm just gonna drag it over here into that bright green, just like that. Okay, just kidding, it didn't wanna make that change. Oh, cause I selected the text color, that's not what works. Select this little circle here and then choose that green that we made. Okay, so right there is actually really, really good. Um, now the cool thing is I think a lot of these already have some sort of animations. And so if we hit share, download, uh, we should be able to download it as an MP4 file and it actually animates in OBS. So let's hit done and hit download. And we'll let that do it. And while it's doing it, I'm gonna open up my second uh, version of OBS, which I use for tutorials, uh, but I'm realizing is going to be open with uh, short content because that's what I was filming on at last. So we're waiting for this to export. Here we go. Yes, so there's my second OBS, which like I said, is going to be for shorts. Uh, and so I'm just gonna go to my uh, other stuff. I think, I think Untitled was probably what I was using last. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Do I have a full screen? There we go. Okay. Yes. This is, I don't remember making this, but oh well, that's something I made at some point. All right. So now that we actually have OBS open, what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn that one off and I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to go to a, a new media source. Uh, sure. And go and find it, which should be under my downloads. Uh, there we go. Click open. And I'm going to have it loop. And then click, okay. 
There we go. Okay, so it's actually moving a little quick, I think. I might fix that later, but obviously right now it's not working because it has that green background, but we're gonna go right here and click filters, click your plus sign, go here to chroma key, click okay, and immediately that background is gone. I don't know why my camera is like only half the size, so we'll go like that. Also, this is what my camera looks like when I don't activate my green screen or add any of my filters on it. But just like that, within a couple minutes, like completely no editing, under 10 minutes, and I have this. But let me show you something else that's really cool. Uh, something else that I could do here is, let's say I have my game scene, and this is, uh, I'm gonna turn everything else off. Okay, oh, I honestly don't remember making that. Oh well, uh, let's turn all this other stuff off. I'm even gonna turn my camera off. Let's say that this is grabbing my display. Okay, let's make it grab something else. I don't know. There, we'll make it grab my, my teleprompter. Okay, so let's say that is your gaming scene. So instead of making a whole new cam border, one thing you could do is hit your plus sign here and go to scene and grab your full screen scene, bring it in, and now you can actually use this this scene as your webcam and now any kind of change that you make you know over here is actually going to be here in your camera as well now i am personally a bigger fan of like a narrow camera as you see here with me so i would probably build a secondary design that squishes all of this in to make the webcam border but yeah there we go guys just like that in under 10 minutes with no editing at all. You've seen how I took a, a really cool design and, and I hopefully I showed it in a way that you see how you could actually implement those tricks and tactics um, very simply to change any Canva design into an overlay. Just find a design, a presentation, a, a Twitch screen, a, a gaming uh, scene that you like throw your square in there, reorient everything around it, and then pull it in OBS. It's as simple as that. Canva seriously makes it so easy. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel, uh, and I highly, highly encourage you to check out Canva Pro using that link down below. Um, I believe it'll give you a discount when you subscribe to, but at the very least, it gives you that 30-day free trial, and it's such a, a good, useful program. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you let me know down below if you like the zero editing style. Uh, uh, and, and let me know if there's anything you didn't like about it or how you prefer it. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one.